dear students in this session we will uh, uh, see how to calculate tension and acceleration in the case of atwood machine what is this atwood machine uh, it is a there is a pulley okay and two masses m1 and m2 are connected to this pulley m1 and m2 this particular situation is there in uh, loss of motion chapter in exercise problems there is a problem related to this okay this is called atwood's machine now i need to calculate we need to calculate the acceleration in which the masses are moving and the tension in the string now say m1 is greater than m2 say m1 is greater than m2 if m1 is greater then what happens its weight will be more its weight will be less m1 will come down and m2 will go up so m1 starts accelerating downwards m2 starts accelerating upwards now we already know to calculate tension and acceleration we need to write the free body diagram let me write the free body diagram of m1 fbd free body diagram of m1 m1 okay m1 is accelerating downwards on m1 which force is acting one weight is acting definitely that weight is acting uh, downwards that is m1g is acting downwards tension is acting upwards tension is acting upwards now these two forces together are responsible for acceleration huh. m1 is accelerating downwards so therefore downward force should be bigger so i can write an equation m1g minus t is equal to m1 into a. m1g minus t this is the net force responsible for acceleration now uh, let me write free body diagram of m2 free body diagram of m2 now this is let me write this as equation number 1 so let me consider mass m2 m2 is accelerating up okay on m2 which forces are acting here there is tension tension is always towards the support away from the body tension is acting upward weight is acting downward m2 g is acting downward m2 g tension is acting upward now since the body m2 is going up i can write t minus m2g t minus m2g is equal to m2 into a net force so i got two equations now using these two equations i can uh, derive equation for acceleration and tension what can be done now uh, in equation 1 uh, minus t is there equation 2 plus 2 plus t is there let me add it what happens m1g plus t minus t gets cancelled minus m2g is equal to m1 plus m2 into a we will get or straight away i can write the equation for acceleration so here g is common m1 minus m2 into g here m1 plus m2 so acceleration i can write acceleration a is equal to m1 minus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 into g we got the equation for acceleration now what i'll do uh, let me consider equation number 2 equation number 2 implies t equal to t tension is equal to m2 a plus m2 g what is m2 a m2 into a a means acceleration m1 minus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 into g into g minus uh ha uh, this m2 g minus m2 g will come here it will become plus plus m2 g so let me simplify this a little so t is equal to what happens m2 m1 into g okay m1 m2 into g 
minus m2 square into g m2 into m2 m2 square into g plus uh, okay divided by m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 plus m2 g simplifying this further tension is equal to uh, taking lcm m1 into m2 okay so what happens m1 m2 g this term minus m2 square g this term okay m1 into m2 g plus m1 m2 g plus m2 into m2 g that is m2 square g divided by m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 so what happens plus uh, m2 square g minus m2 square g gets cancelled m1 m2 g plus m1 m2 g is 2 m1 m2 g tension is equal to 2 m1 m2 into g divided by m1 plus m2 now these are the equations for acceleration and tension in the case of atwood's machine now what we can do we can uh, uh, imagine we can guess the equation as well how to guess the equation to calculate the acceleration directly how to write the equation to calculate the acceleration what we'll do i'll uh, erase all those all these things first acceleration means net force divided by total mass correct na net force divided by total mass what is net force uh, one force acting is uh, m1 g who is responsible m1 g is also responsible m2 g is also responsible which is bigger which is bigger m1 g is bigger or in the case of uh, instead of net force I can write unbalanced force, huh? unbalanced force, I can write like this unbalanced force divided by total mass, huh? unbalanced force. So, if m1 equal to m2, then what happens? m1 g, m1 g, they get balanced, then there will not be any acceleration, there should be unbalanced force. What are the unbalanced force? m1 g minus m2 g there is no balance why there is no balance because m1 is greater na? this is an un unbalanced force divided by total mass total mass is m1 plus m2 so what happened acceleration equal to m1 minus m2 into g divided by m1 plus m2 we got the same equation okay to find tension tension <coughs> see uh, you remember like this if uh, the applied force is in two directions okay on both sides if the uh, masses are free means okay there is no horizontal force if there is no horizontal force okay then a term 2 will come you remember i'll explain you uh, in the further uh, calculations 2 will come then what if g is 0 if g is 0 if acceleration due to gravity is 0 weight is 0 na if weight is 0 even if you cut the string here this mass will not fall down so, tension is 0 if g is 0. So, g should be in the <coughs> numerator. Then, if m1 is 0, what happens? <coughs> if m1 is 0, m2 will be under free fall. Huh? Means, what is the tension for the string? There is no tension for the string. If m1 becomes 0, tension should become 0. So, therefore, m1 also should come in the numerator. What if m2 is 0? m2 is 0. If f m2 is 0, m1 will be under free fall. Okay. So, there will not be any tension in the string. So, m2 also should come in the numerator and between them there should be multiplication symbol be because if g is z becomes 0 or m1 becomes 0 or m2 becomes 0, tension should become equal to 0. Mm -hmm.